Hey guys, I was just doing a bit of late night reading here. I wanted to give you a tip if you are the type of person that gets easily distracted when you're reading, or if you're feeling really, really tired, or your focus or your concentration is not there and you feel yourself rereading sentences again and again. This is a very uh, simple thing that you can do. So your brain is really good at this thing called priming. And so you can actually layer your focus on top of it itself so that essentially what you're doing is that you're reducing the amount of concentration and focus you need to be able to comprehend and process the information in a text. So I've got a research article that I've been reading here at the moment. Um, it's, you know, almost 9 p.m. I've had a pretty busy long day. I just showered and I'm feeling really relaxed. But as a result, my brain is wanting to just, you know, go finish watching the last few episodes of Rick and Morty. Uh, and so in order to get through this, what I'm going to do is layer on my focus. So what I do is I'm first going to start with this paragraph uh, and I'll take it chunk by chunk. So I'll do this paragraph first and then I'll do the next paragraph, so on and so forth. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to flick through this paragraph, just picking out the keywords. I'm going to do this very, very quickly. And I'm not going to try to get an understanding of it. But what I'm going to do is just familiarize myself with some of the key words and the key concepts that are going to come out in this paragraph. So you can do it with me. You just have a look at this uh, page right here, this paragraph, and just have a very quick look through to see what you can spot. If I go through this, I'm picking out the word, you know, pigeons, stimulus, comparison, sample. Skinner, which is obviously a name, laboratory research, human participants. So just, you know, various keywords. So try to go through that and uh, read this passage. And when you read it, just get a very general idea about the keywords that you can see popping up. Now, you're not trying to hold on to this information, uh, and the amount of time I gave you just now is probably about enough to just really quickly cast your eye through. But what it will do, it will just, it will just get your brain working a little bit. I see, I'm so tired, I can't even speak properly. It will just get your brain working a little bit and just starting to think about some of those words so that when it comes up, it's a familiar anchor point. Uh, and that's, so that's that first layer. And the next thing that you're gonna do is when you read through this, you're going to read it in these sort of bursts and you're not focusing on trying to go quickly. What you're focusing on is trying to uh, really immerse yourself in key anchor points in the sentence. So not every part of a sentence is really important and some sentences themselves aren't very important. They're sort of just bridges to the next point. So for here, MTS procedures have a long history of use and research on stimulus control. So for me, when I read this, that's not a really important sentence, but it tells me at least this paragraph is going to talk about the history of, of, of um, stimulus control. And so this, all of this is presumably stuff about the history of stimulus control. So when I go through this, I'm basically again following a procedure described by Skinner for teaching pigeons. So really my anchor point in this sentence is pigeons. So I'm not really bothering too much think about what I'm reading in this part of the sentence. I'm just going through that very, very quickly, but I'm letting my mind sit on the teaching pigeons, right? So following procedures are to teaching pigeons to match identical colors, uh, and it's used in early research, in MTS trial and non-human research to be presented stem some stimulus alone. Current stimuli are presented only if the subject makes an observing response to the sample, for example. A pigeon must pick the key on which the sample is presented in order to gain access to the comparison stimuli. So do you see when I'm reading that, I'm reading certain parts very quickly because it's not registering as something that I need to really think about, but I'm letting myself slow down and really think slowly about what's being said, build that story in my mind. And once it clicks together, which when you're really tired can take a long time, uh, once it clicks, then you'll understand what that was talking about and then you can quickly move on again. So the idea is that when you're tired, it's easy to reread the same thing again and again. And that's because your attention is slipping. You're not realizing that you're passively reading and that can be very frustrating. What we're doing is we're letting ourselves be tired and not really pay attention. We're only reserving a little bit of attention just to think, is this something I need to really wake up about when I'm reading this? So we can skim through very relaxed uh, going through. And because I primed myself before, I know that there's going to be something in here later about lab research, 
and human participants as well. That's going to come somewhere later. So now that early keyword priming that I did is helping me to sort of make a few of these connections and it'll make it easier and faster to build this story. So in summary, step one, go through a little block of text, pick out a few keywords, simmer for a few seconds, go through uh, and be relaxed and pretty low attention when you're reading, but just looking for, is this something that I need to really pay attention on? And if it is, slow down, think about it, say it out loud if you need to, wrap your head around it, build that picture in your head as you're saying the sentence and once it clicks in you'll feel that it clicks in and it's like okay I got this now and then you can move on and proceed through the next thing overall your reading speed will be I mean maybe a little bit lower than if you're really really focused but it's certainly going to be much much faster than if you're just rereading things again and again and in reality you'll probably just end up giving up if you were to continue doing that so that's my little tip about how to uh, maintain your attention and really get the most out of reading even when you're feeling really tired or your mind's floating around in, in other places. Hope that helped. If you did, uh, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next little tip.